and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Team of the Week cards now, the exact week. I need to go double check for you guys because I will mess that up. I believe it's 13. Could be wrong. My voice is going. <coughs> Jesus. All right. So, team of the week, week 13 will be coming out today. I will be going over all the cards as on stream, as you guys already know the deal with that. I'm gonna go watch the stream, get you guys some screenshots. It's gonna be a LTD, an offensive hero, defensive hero, some medium high set pieces, and then some lower ones. You guys already know the deal with team of the week. Now, we are nearing the end, guys, so make sure you get the solo done. I actually, I have to go play mine after this video, actually, because you do not want to miss out on getting your team of the year tokens, because if you collect all of them, or at least close to all of them, you should have a pretty decent chance of getting your free team of the year pack at the end of the year. And we're getting pretty close. There's only about 14 more regular season weeks after this week 13. So there's not much time left. So you guys want to start getting these done. It is getting awfully close. Now guys, quick announcement. If you guys didn't watch another video, this is my first video for the day. So it's probably here first. I am going to be doing a 25 days of mutt, like Christmas kind of thing. So I'll be doing daily giveaways every single day onto the last day of December. Now I did give all the rules and instructions, and everything in the other video. I'm going to recap it real quick here because this is the content. Pretty much all you got to do to enter is hit the like button and comment down below a secret word that I'll be saying throughout any video. It's going to be, I'll post like three to four videos a day. So just go to each one, like the video and just comment down below the word. And that enters you in all of them. I will be picking a random video because obviously I do a lot of videos per day. So I would be picking random videos. So let's say I do the 10, 30, the 2, the 4, the 7. I'll pick one of those randomly and pull from there. So make sure you're commenting and liking each and every one so you guys have a chance to win. The rewards will gradually get better as we get closer to Christmas. Like on Christmas Day, maybe it'll be 150K. Maybe it'll be $20 Microsoft points. It will start off with 30K coins as of today and we'll slowly work our way up. And then eventually it gets like gift cards, more, even more coins. I'll pick the other side as time goes. Now, to show me guys that you guys like this idea, Make sure to spam the like button. Let's get all these videos today up to 500 likes. Everyone, if you guys just keep running up the likes, the rewards will gradually increase, and you guys have a great chance of getting these rewards because all you got to do is comment down below on each video and like, so it enters you almost four times if I pick any of those videos, and it's going to be every day for 30 days. So you got nothing to lose, guys. Expect tons of coins given away, tons of money given away. And let's start this Christmas off. Let's start this month, this month of December off for Madden with a bang. Now, guys, let's get into all of these cards. Guys, so we got the Team of the Week low set pieces, starting with Alan Lazard, however you say his name, guys. Quick little, a quick little, just fun fact here, just so you guys know. I did go to the Packers game on Sunday versus the Giants. They, my Giants lost, but I did get a high five from Anthony Lazard, so that's pretty cool. I, I touched his hands, and I also have quite a few in-game worn stuff from Devonte Adams, Jair Alexander, Tremont Williams. They had amazing seats, guys. It was an awesome experience, and. Yeah, Anthony Lazard touched me, so pretty much I'm uh, famous. Now, Jordan Lewis, 79 overall CB. Oh, by the way, Lazard's stats were did decent. 85 speed, 88 jumping. He's athletic, can't really catch a route run, but other than that, decent athleticism. Jordan Lewis, 84 speed, 85 excel, 84 agility, 80 jumping. Decent cornerback, decent athleticism. Not, not really. He's not too great. It would be decent for maybe like a really starting off budget team, not really anything else. Mike Jasicki, he should be an athletic. He's pretty athletic in real life. I'm surprised they only gave him a 78 speed. He's a tight end. 74 strength, 80 catching, 75 catching traffic. Route running's not great, run blocking's not great, catching's not great. I thought this is not great. This tight end is terrible. Taylor Rapp, strong safety for the Rams. 82 speed, 86 excel, 77. Your word for today's video is going to be Christmas tree. Comment it down below, like the video. And tackle, 73 play rec, 82 pursuit, 84 hit power. Can't cover, can barely hit, isn't fast, not that tall. All right, Ty Smith, cornerback for the Titans, 85 speed. 87 excel, 84 agility, 85 jumping, 86 press. Can't cover, can decently press, decent athleticism. As per usual, no budget piece looking like right now. At free safety, we got 83 overall, Kansas City Chiefs, Juan Thornhill. 87 speed, 86 excel. Every other stat sucks, so he's kind of like a running back at free safety. Tyler Higby, tight end for the Rams. Bad athleticism, bad catching, good run blocking. So he's pretty much just an extra lineman if you wanted like a budget backup lineman just to put like wide receiver that you just want to block for you. Not a bad idea. And then quarterback, the Wildcat could be himself, Taysom Hill, 87 speed, 82 throw power, 82 throw short, 85 throw mid, 79 throw deep, 76 throw on, under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 81 play action. He would be a decent card to pick up for like cool packages like wild card, uh, Wildcat packages and stuff. I mean, if his carrying is good, obviously it all depends. Now let's get into the higher pieces here. We got Darius Geis, 
pretty awesome, honestly, that he got a card. Pretty good for, I, I, you know, I felt bad for him after his, uh, his all of his injuries he's dealt with. He was supposed to be really good coming out of college. Hopefully, he can stay healthy now and keep it up. He had a pretty good week last week. 87 speed, 88 excelled, 90 agility, 87 carrying, 54 catching, 78 elusiveness, 88 trucking, 82 break tackle. Now, the speed's okay, the excel's okay, okay. the agility's really good, the trucking's good, and the break tackle's good. Decent all-around card for 86 overall, probably a budget beast running back. Not bad at all for 86. Next, we got James Washington, 87 overall. I knew this card would be decent. He's always super fast. Had a good week. 5'11", 89 speed, 83 jumping, 84 catching, 82 catch traffic, 89 spec catch, 80 short route running, 81 medium route running, and 50, 84, 80, 55. 85 deep route running. The speed's great. Catching's okay. Spec catch is actually pretty good. And route running's decent. Probably, a, he's going to be a good budget, like a budget team streaking type receiver. That's probably what his uh, his outlook's looking like. He's probably going to be a specialist when it comes to going deep for you. More in a budget team, right? You put go deep on him, though. His spec catch and his deep out running will get pretty high, so he's not going to be too bad. Going to be pretty great. Now, on the theme team, forget about it. He's going to be pretty great on the Steelers, specifically. 88 overall left on Carlos Dunlap. Wow, that Carlos Dunlap picture looks a lot more high definition than this other one. Carlos Dunlap, 88 left end for the Bengals, 6'6", six six, 80 speed, 84 excel, good athleticism for a left end, Carlos Dunlap's always been a finesse specialist with speed, 77 strength, a little low, 82 tackles, okay, 89 play racks, really good, 80 blocks, has decent, 60 power move, and 85 finesse move, chemmed up, he will have a pretty decent finesse move, a good play rec, and good athleticism, I think the blocks is a little too low, combined with the fact that his play rec and his finesse move is a little low too, in comparison, right, if you could power him up, like if his play record was like 95, I could validate some of this other stuff. But that's going to be chemmed up. He's going to just barely hit it. Finesse was not going to hit it. I think that if everything was a little bit higher, it could make up for the block shed. But I don't think it is. Next, we got the 88 overall Bradley Roby. One of the high um, team of the week set pieces. 90 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility. Yeah, Bradley Roby is usually uber athletic. 87 jumping, 83 play rec, 83 man coverage, 81 zone, 86 press. Decent card, good athleticism. Can't cover that well. Going to be decent in a certain scheme or theme team. Next, we have Kenny Galladay as the offensive hero. 92 overall wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. 89 speed, 88 jumping, 82 catching. I mean, 92 catching, 92 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 89 short route running, 87 medium route running, and 86 deep route running. With go deep on him, chemmed up all the way. He's going to have phenomenal catching, still great athleticism, and really great route running. Going to be a very well-rounded card. The only thing better would be if he's on a theme team or if he could be powered up. If he could be powered up, he'd be a pretty awesome receiver. Pretty good card. Six foot four, two. You know, he's, ba he's baby Megatron. Decent card. I wish he was slightly... Faster, or I just wish he could be powered up. But other than that, it's a great card. Now, let's head over to the next card. Okay, so the defensive hero card is middle linebacker, 92 overall, Devin White. Now, if you guys don't remember, Devin White has a pretty beastly gauntlet card that I think many of us had. I recently traded mine in because I already had two linebackers. I really wasn't using them anymore. Devin White's a beast. Solid middle linebacker. Rookie, I believe, out of LSU, if my memory is right. He's a stub middle linebacker. Great athleticism. That's kind of like the beauty of his card. I wish his speed was slightly higher because they did make his other card. I think his other card had like an 88 or an 89 speed. So I kind of wish they had given him a higher than just one plus speed boost, but I guess that would have made him too OP. Now, Devin White's pretty much a, he's like a prototypical user card built just to be used. 90 speed, 89 excel, 75 strength, 93 tackle, 87 play rec, 84 block shed, 92 hit power, 74 zone. Now, when you look at a user, you want above six feet tall, check. Equal to or above. You want crazy speed, check. Crazy acceleration, check. Good tackle, check. Great hit power, check. So he has all those hit. He hits all of those. Now play rack and block shed is block shed's important if you're, you you take your user and you run him in. You kind of want to get off the block real quick. But if you're gonna be using routes and stuff, really all that matters is hit power, so you can knock the ball out, hit the running back when you when you wrap back around. The speed, so you can keep up with routes, acceleration, and agility matters too, which I cannot see on this card at the moment. But this card is looking pretty beastly. He cannot be powered up, which just kind of suck. But as you guys know, Team of the Week heroes still can get all their abilities and everything, even non-powered up. The only issue with him, of course, is going to be the fact that you cannot increase his stats with power up. And, it is about, and I believe Shaker or Sprinter and that stuff, you can't get them either. That is the biggest difficulty when it comes to getting these cards. But this card looks pretty beastly. We still have the off. We obviously have the offensive hero, the LTDs. Those are the bangers of the week. So let's get into the next card. Now for the LTD, we got Ryan Fitzpatrick, 93 overall quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. You know, a card like him usually upsets me, but I think this is funny. Ryan Fitzmagic getting an LTD card. Going to be a banger title for today. Fitzmagic is back. LTD, 93 overall. Look at that beard. I always wondered, like, I have a beard and all. Like, I've had a pretty big beard. Not that big, obviously. But when I play football, I never had a beard with a chin strap. I always wondered what it feel like to have a chin strap over that beard. Probably itchy. Probably sweaty in there. 
You got the captain archetype. Let's see his stats. Six foot two, 73 speed. Decent speed for a Fitzpatrick card. 89 throw power is good. 93 throw shorts good. 90 throw mids great. 90 throw deeps great. 92 throw under pressure. 90 throw on the run. 97 play action. Kev Dub, this card is going to be a phenomenal thrower. Wow. He's going to be, he's going to have a 99 play action with like West Coast. This card looks pretty great, honestly. Fitzmagic is a great card here. Speed's obviously not too great, but with the right abilities on him, this card could be pretty nasty. And he can get all of his abilities on him. So this is going to be a fun gameplay if anyone does these. And, you know, if you watch any gameplays, there'll be still probably some fun ones with them. Definitely an awesome looking card, guys. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Don't forget to join in the 25 days of Christmas. 25 days. Comment down below. Make sure to like every video today. If each video gets a lot of likes, and you verify yourself in the giveaway. Remember, as things increase on the channel, we will be upping the rewards closer to Christmas. So spam the like so I can verify you did it and comment down below the secret word. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.